midnight raids on their homes, police with battering rams breaking down their front doors at midnight at one or two in the morning, never explained why law enforcement was after them. They were forbidden to tell anybody what was going on. It was radio host Rush Limbaugh back in April detailing the raids in Wisconsin that were stopped for good just a few weeks ago. Tonight in a Kelly File exclusive, a Wisconsin mother and son break their silence for the first time on television. They will tell us how their home was raided and ransacked in what they call an attempt to take down the Republican governor of their state, the now presidential candidate, Scott Walker. But first, let's go to Trace Gallagher, who gives us some background on this from our West Coast newsroom tonight. Trace. Martha, the Wisconsin Supreme Court has now put a stop to the John Doe investigation, saying that Wisconsin law enforcement was investigating crimes that were not crimes. Under the John Doe law, prosecutors had vast authority to seize documents and compel people who were being investigated to stay silent. Critics say this was a partisan prosecution targeting Wisconsin conservatives and searching for evidence to discredit Republican Governor Scott Walker. The investigations included a series of pre-dawn raids by heavily armed police using bad Rams. Cindy Archer, who worked with Governor Walker, says in 2011, when police pounded on her door and confronted her, she was completely undressed and was afraid police would shoot her dogs. She has now filed a civil rights lawsuit challenging the prosecutor's actions. Another Walker associate, Deb Jordahl, claims her kids were frightened to death when police stormed her house and that she was not read her rights, was told to not mention the raid and to not call a lawyer or she'd be hit with contempt of court court charges. The same scenario allegedly took place eight more times at different homes. Critics call it bullying by people with badges and law degrees saying the targets were guilty of nothing more than their First Amendment rights to support conservative causes. Listen. They came after my team because they were effective in political communication. They were resented by the prosecutors who were, you know, were in league with the left, representing the left attitude towards Scott Walker's union reforms, and they used the, the under color of law, they pursued us with tactics which themselves are a, a severe punishment. Investigators say the various accounts of police storming these homes is an exaggeration. They won't even call them raids, and they say the investigations were legitimate. Mm. Martha. Fascinating. Joining me now in a Kelly File exclusive Deb Jordahl and her son Adam Jordahl. They say their home was raided with the approval of Milwaukee, Wisconsin prosecutors. Deb Jordahl is a principal at, George, at Johnson Jordahl Strategic Communications, and that was once a, uh, they once had Scott Walker as one of their clients. Deb and Adam, uh, good evening. Good to have you with us uh, tonight. You know, I read through the details of your story. Um, it, it's a shocking story. Uh, it, it's a head scratcher. I think people will read it and hear it and say, you know, how could this possibly happen in the United States of America? But Deb, let me start with you give me the the sort of you know brief version of what happened that night well it was actually six o'clock in the morning it was still dark out and I saw lights out in the yard I heard noise uh, and shortly after that the doorbell rang and a Dane County deputy sheriff was at the door she walked into the foyer she said um, everything's okay we have a warrant to search the house um, she asked about Adam she didn't realize we also had a daughter um, and she followed me upstairs. I asked if I could go into my kids' room by myself to wake them up, and she followed me right in there. So when they woke up, they saw an armed deputy standing next to their bed. All right, so um, let me just jump in here for, for a second. Did you have any mm -hmm. idea why they were there at your house? No, none. Nothing at the at time all. that she, no, she came in and she said, you know, everything's okay, meaning, you know, nobody's dead, you know, we're not here because of an emergency. She said, we have a warrant to search the house, and she wanted to gather everybody together before she read the warrant to us. So we went upstairs and got the kids, and we were all corralled into our family room. She read the warrant to us, um, and I do want to clarify, she told, the, it, right, right in the warrant, um, was the gag order and it said that we couldn't talk to anybody about the investigation about the raid um, at all except a lawyer and it was after um, she had read the warrant and I said that I wanted to call a lawyer that she told me I couldn't 
Um, and so um, at this was, point, are you shocking. putting, I'm sorry, are you putting together any of, you know, sort of, well, I've done work with Scott Walker. There's a huge battle going on in this state right now. They're probably trying to figure out if I'm behind that or if I'm fighting against this Act 10 or these union um, actions that are going on in the state. Did you, did you already have an inkling that things were potentially getting ugly because of your support of this group? Well, what was shocking, um, Martha, was that this was an investigation that started in 2005 over a county veterans fund, and it was 2013. We had already been through the recall campaign, we'd been through the original you know, election, and all of a sudden they were investigating us allegedly for things that we did in the 2011 and 2012 recall. So we had no idea. Right. These John Doe investigations are conducted completely in secret. And yeah. um, we're not, you know, aside from what's in the warrant, we're really not even allowed to know what it is they suspect us of doing. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, sue. It, it, I understand we were almost out of time, but I want to ask Adam a quick question. Adam, you know, some people say it didn't happen. You heard that in the report. Um, how, how can you prove that it did? Um, because some of my friends at school saw it happen. You know, I mean, you can't have four or five, you know, police cars outside your house at six in the morning without getting some yeah. questions about it later. So as soon as I got to school, a few people were asking me, you know, are you okay? Is your family all right? Like, what happened? And all I could say to them was, I can't tell you that. I can't yeah. tell you anything. And we saw this kind of investigation uh, with the IRS situation, and it appears to be something of the same ilk um, in a very strong response. Thank you very much. More to come on that story. And breaking tonight, new unrest in Missouri when we come back.